Hi everyone, Brian here with Practical Prep TX. Just thought I'd make a uh, short video, well hopefully it's going to be short, um, on the reasons I'm, or I've decided, me and my family decided to try and secede from the traditional, you know, food, energy, water, medical, even banking, uh, the traditional system as much as possible is, I don't know, I mean, like, like a lot of you all who stumbled upon this video, I'm sure you feel just something's wrong. I mean, you look at what's going on in the nation, here in the U.S. at least, but shoot, around the world, it's no different. Um, just the absolute debauchery. I mean, just the evil you see just happening all over the world. Um, I was in the financial sector, and technically I still am, um, as an investment advisor and manage uh, stock portfolios and things like that. And, you know, the numbers just haven't made sense in a long time. Um, I mean, you look at our national debt, which is what now over 33, 34 trillion dollars. And as of right now, which is, uh, what is it? March uh, 5th, no, March 6th of uh, 2023 interest rates are now marching a lot higher. And that means our national debt is going to be rolled over at higher interest rates. So, uh, I think in the next couple of years, I think the, just the interest alone in our national debt is going to be like. I don't know, cover almost half of uh, tax receipts or tax revenue brought in. So obviously that's not sustainable and how that's going to end. Nobody really knows. Uh, even in the financial sector, they can pretend they know, but they don't, trust me. Um, these people aren't all that smart. Um, and I mean, frankly, I was worried about this 10 years ago when I first got into the uh, stock brokerage industry. Um, but, you know, everything seems to just power on and keep going. But I think the reason for that is because the um, the normalcy bias. Um, the markets, our, our financial markets are mostly based on faith. Um, as long as everyone believes everything is okay, everything will remain okay, at least in the financial market side of things. Um, so that has really put off or pushed off the inevitable, but eventually Gravity catches up with you. Gravity works here just like it works in every other country around the world. It just takes a little longer here in the U.S. because we do have the reserve currency. So our currency, no matter how much we print it, it's still in demand around the world. And that's uh, you know, not, a, not a common thing for other countries. So they tend to not be able to spend recklessly for as long of a period as we do. But anyway, that is obviously one issue or one reason I'm seceding from the system uh, as much as I can. Um, another is, I mean, just flat out, COVID was a real eye-opener. When we, what was that, well, now almost two, three years ago, uh, when the supply chains just really froze up there, when it, nobody was going to work, and we saw our grocery stores out here in Texas, um, the shelves were becoming empty. Um, there were still items on the shelves, but you may go there and there's no steak, or you may go there and there's no chicken, um, <laughs> and no toilet paper, uh, for instance. And that was a real wake-up call to me that, you know what, my, my gut feeling is becoming uh, reality, so... It's time to go ahead and put the pedal to the metal. So for the last few years, I've been uh, on my 15 acres here trying to do everything I could uh, to expand, you know, grow a garden, grow our own food. Um, we already have a well uh, for water that's, gosh, almost 500 feet deep. So as long as we have the electricity to be able to get that water out of the ground, we'll always have water. I mean, unless a train derailment happens that poisons the, you know, the water supply underneath the ground. But we are really deep, so even even a supply issue with uh, you know, toxins going down there. It, it gets filtered pretty good before 500 feet. Um, but anyway, that being said, uh, COVID was the big wake up call for me. It was like, you know what? I can't rely on the system um, as much as I would have liked. So we're growing our own food. Um, another reason that we've decided was, you know what? You're seeing the corporations just go off the rails now. Like all of a sudden it's like they flipped a switch and every corporate board is filled with I mean, just flat out extreme left-wing activists who are just catering to the, the minority of people who just seem completely insane to the rest of us normal people who live out here in you know, rural America. Um, but you're seeing them all go that direction. And not only that, but I mean, I was never really aware of how bad the, uh, the corporate food chain was in regards to just uh, pumping animals full of you know, hormones and antibiotics and making them just, I mean, we're ingesting all of those toxins and pesticides in the food nowadays. And I've, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I love my burger from like, you know, in and out or, you know, Whataburger, but 
gosh, I'm trying to, I got to try and cut back that even more. But now all the processed foods, I mean, with the allergies we're seeing, it, it's just not good. So if you can grow your own, by all means, start to do that, even on a small scale. Um, so that's another reason. And then ESG, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of ESG, environmental social governance. Um, there's like, it's like a credit score now that a lot of big banks are using, like Bank of America, JP Morgan, to uh, rank how, how environmentally, I mean, okay, let's just, let's just call it the way it is. They're basically rating how politically correct you are or your company is, or, and these are gonna be moved, I think, over to the personal side of things, where if you're investing in oil and gas or investing in farmland, dairies, um, you're gonna have a lower ESG score, and eventually I think they're gonna use that as a credit score that's gonna be used to push you into not, uh, I guess, or living the way they want you to live. And I don't want to be controlled, so I am basically taking you know, the things I need into my own hands and trying to provide as much of it on my own as I can. And with energy as well, I mean, God, we're in Texas and our grid, uh, everybody heard about how the grid came within like, I don't know, seven minutes of complete collapse for months um, based on our snowstorm that we had a couple of years ago. And we were out of power for quite a long time. Uh, I think it was about, I think it was two days. So I guess it's not that long, but we just had another outage here about a month ago. Uh, another ice storm and we were out for let's see i think it was three days but our neighbors were out for over seven days and it's cold it was in the 20s um so i'm just taking that into my own hands as well and i'm putting well i'm building or in the process of building and almost finished an off-grid uh, solar system that i'll be posting videos on as well that you know it can be done now it is expensive especially if you have uh, somebody else install it so i'm doing all of it myself which i do have a little bit of electrical experience so that's made it way cheaper, um, but it is possible to live 100% off grid now with the battery technology and the costs have gone down quite a bit as composed to where they were, but it does, it does take a lifestyle change though. You can't live exactly the same. I mean, well, you can live exactly the same, but you just gotta kind of change when you're using energy. You gotta use energy when the sun's out and then try and conserve it when the sun's not out. But anyway, that's another thing. Um, and the grid, in my opinion, is going to become more and more, uh, well, less reliable, put it that way. Um, now with all these coal-fired, natural gas-fired power plants, as they're, uh, as they're shutting those down, to, as they're getting old, they're not doing updates on them. They're actually trying to replace them with renewable energy. And, you know, I'm all for being a good steward of the earth, but I'm also, it's not a religion to me where I'm going to sacrifice my children's future because of it. So they're replacing all these coal and natural gas fired power plants with renewable energy. And as we've seen in Texas, it's just, it's not reliable. In fact, when there's a huge demand on the grid is when it's really cold and people need to put on their heaters and there's no sun and maybe there's wind, but all those wind turbines are freezing over. So it's not reliable. So again, I'm taking matters into my own hands on that and basically making myself my own power grid. Um, and the actual power grid is just gonna be my backup. Um, and I'll show you, there is a system that you can do that. Um, it's a relatively new inverter that uh, you can feed your whole 200 amp service. Um, it basically fits right in between your meter and your home electrical panel, which is it's one of its kind. I don't, I don't know of any other inverters like this one. Uh, it's actually, if you guys are interested, the Solark, S-O-L-A-R-K, uh, 15 kilowatt version is the one I'm using. Uh, handles up to four odd cable, <laughs> it's a beast. Um, so. There's that. Um, so I do believe there is a, a targeted, uh, I guess you would say a targeted attack on our electrical grid. Now you have heard of people who are sat trying to sabotage the grid, shooting up transformers, things like that. And I don't know how widespread that's gonna be. And you know, it might be isolated events, but uh, regardless, I think our government is not going to be putting more reliable power plants together. I mean, the let's face it, the last, or the last, the last generation, which is my generation, I think, that in the 40-year-old range right now, and all generations prior to that, they have been force-fed that you know humans are bad, using energy is bad, oil is bad, natural gas is bad, anything that produces carbon, right, is bad. So that's not going to change anytime soon. I mean, the public school system has, I mean, really brainwashed all of these kids. So I don't see. I don't see the grid going in the right direction for a very long time. And in fact, I think it's going to take a homeschool revolution um, 
in order to break this cycle that we're in now. And I, I'm homeschooling my kids. There's not, not a chance in hell they're going to be in the public school system here. Um, we're making any sacrifices we need to to make that happen. Uh, so I am anticipating. Now, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm going to vote. I'm going to continue to vote. But you know, what? voting harder is not is not doing the job. So I think even if we do get our guy in or whoever you think is your guy in as president, I mean, the deep state is just now so its tentacles are so intertwined around every organization of government that even if you get good people in, it, it really all it does is slow the process down. It slows the degradation down. And so I'm focusing now I am going to vote, like I said, but I'm focusing more of my effort on what I can do to insulate myself from what's coming as much as possible. I mean, obviously, if there's a grid meltdown, which I don't think there's going to be a complete meltdown, I think it's going to be a slow, controlled degrade over time. Why? Because the elites know that if we see the grid just go out, it's going to be complete pandemonium and we're going to throw them out of office by force if necessary. So it's going to be a control. The grid will just continue to get a little bit uh, more or less reliable. Prices will continue to go up. But again, like boiling a frog, right? As long as it's not too much, too fast, but people just take it. And we saw that with COVID, right? I mean, gosh, if that was not a, a perfect example to show you that even good people will just, I mean, they'll take their government doing whatever they want and they won't put up a fight at all. Um, some of us did, but I mean, I, <laughs> I've seen enough good people that I know that just turned a blind eye to it and let some really bad things happen because they just didn't want to lose their job, which, I mean, I understand your job, but you know, my character is more important than my job. So, um, so why else am I doing this? Um, uh, I mean, the culture is just degraded into a cesspool and anyone who's been watching, you know, any of the news media can just tell, I mean, drag queen story hour, all this crap that, uh, I mean, I just want to eject myself completely out of the system. Um, so that is really the reason I'm doing this. So I'll be posting videos on exactly what I'm doing the products I'm using to help me with that. And in fact, one of those I just wanted to share right now was I just purchased and I am an affiliate of them, but I bought the product first to check it out because I thought this was really needed is a Jace medical kit here. So what this is, is it's a emergency antibiotic kit with all the standard antibiotics that you would need for standard infections. Um, and they give it to you in a big, a pretty big supply for a couple hundred bucks. I think it's like $259 for us. I think it's like 359 in Canada because of the additional regulations and the hoops I got to jump through, but that kit will supply you in an emergency with antibiotics that the critical antibiotics that you would need for different infections. And it also comes with a little book, which I think I have right here that explains which exactly antibiotic they're giving you and what it can be used for. So, and they also give you, include with that is access to a physician. So if you have questions, you can give them a call and they'll help you walk through how much of each one to take for what type of infection. So, um, and the reason I got that was because during COVID, they, they wouldn't even let you order certain types of medication. Even if your doctor wanted to, the pharmacies weren't even releasing it. And for obvious reasons, because this is posted on certain uh, platforms, I'm not going to say which one they are because they'll just censor me because that's how crazy the world's gotten. You can't tell the truth anymore. Uh, but this, I'm worried that, you know what, who knows what the next pandemic is or whatnot, and who knows that what completely safe medication they're gonna say is not safe anymore and refuse to give it out. So I don't know, I think it's better to be pre prepared. So I do, uh, because I am an affiliate of theirs, I can get you $10 off as well. If you use the code, the discount code Brian, B-R-I-A-N-Z, like the letter Z is in zebra. And then 10, Brian Z 10, one zero. It's just one zero, not, don't spell out 10. So B-R-I-A-N-Z one zero. Now I'll get you 10 bucks off. Um, and hopefully that'll help you all out as well. But and I forgot to mention for uh, Jace Medical, uh, this little antibiotic, this little antibiotic kit that I've got here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description with also the coupon code as well. But it is uh, Jace, J-A-S-E Medical. Um, so yeah, check them out. Um, please like, subscribe to this channel, uh, share it with other people. I'm going to be doing just practical things or showing practical things on these videos on what I'm doing. And I will, I've got a couple already on my dairy cow that I have, um, my Jersey A2A2 cow that we milk every single day, um, for all of our milk cheese. And, you know, I'll probably put a, uh, a little card here up in the top of the screen so you'll see it. Um, so you can go watch that, but how I'm doing it on a really small plot of land. 
um, how I have an off-grid water system, which I'll do some videos on that, my solar systems I mentioned, uh, chickens, everything I'm doing to try the garden, everything I'm trying to do is just tell the system to, you know, go pound sand. So anyways, thanks a lot everyone for your time. Sorry this video went a little longer than I anticipated, but uh, when I get railing on this stuff, it's hard to stop me. All right, thanks everyone.